Hello, welcome to Carlock does some science. Today it's a squid farm, which is why we're looking at a guardian. So this is for Minecraft on Java 1.13.1. So because of the changes in mechanics, the old squid farms don't work anymore. So we need new improved squid farm. So this is my farm. Uh, this is just a cut out of one. So basically it works like this. We have a magma cube. We have two source water here at the moment. They're just ice, which is how I would build it and then break the ice when I'm ready. So it fills up with water. A uh, block over the top, I use glass so I can see in and then obviously edging blocks around. Below this, we'd have a block with some rails on. So like here, the rails are just set up. I have the minecart zigzagging backwards and forwards. Obviously the farm would be bigger. This is just a cross section. And I'd usually have just one minecart zigzagging throughout the farm, running over a, a whole row of hoppers. So they'll just constantly be picking up and constantly dropping. So the reason why we have magma blocks is so that when the squid get killed by the guardian, their insects will fall to the bottom and we can pick it up with a hopper rather than the insects floating off to the top. These guardians, because they're handy for killing them squid. So if we put a squid in there, if I can get the glass back, there you are. He will start to zap it because there's only one guardian. He won't kill it on the first time. They do weird things. Squid, he's actually still there. There he is. You saw the drop appear before it got sucked up by the minecart. So it's too high. Um, we do it too high because if it was three high, you could get drowned and fish spawning, and we don't want them drowned because they're annoying and fish because they're on the same mob cap as the squid. The only place squids can spawn now are in rivers, beaches, and oceans. I personally would only build these in rivers. Both rivers are a bit of a pain to mark out and find. Hopefully you can find one ideally in a desert if you're your best place. Because if you do it in an ocean, which you can build this in an ocean, generally there's a lot of water around. And one thing on a squid farm that hasn't changed is you only want water that's loaded to be in your actual farm. So I'll just stand back, have a quick look at this. Very simple. I think you can stack three of these on top of each other if you want. Um, it's not necessary, depending on the size you do and how many insects you want, I guess. Right, so let's go and look at one of these in an actual world. Right, here we are in an actual survival server. And this is actually where the insects come. Oh, that's items coming through. That means we've actually got squid. So in here we've got chocolate boxes full of ink sacks. So we've been running for a while. Oh, we've run out of chocolate boxes. <laughs> so we're now just pummeling through ink sacks. Ooh. So yeah, I can sit here for a moment. It seems to be running. There's only one other person online at the moment and they're at our witch farm. I believe and that's got a perimeter so it's not loading any water so the only water loaded at the moment that's spawnable is in 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 the ink sack farm so yeah so it's a reasonable um, speed let's go up and look so here it is in this river so there are quite a lot of squid works pretty well and we're just waiting for the guardians I can't remember how many are in here 10 or 12 or something like that to kill them all off and when they kill stuff off the insects drop they seem to bounce around a lot more but half of it's uh, not actually where the squid is but where they were or should be or jump to so there's a lot of lightning going on so that works fine. So you end up with a sort of funny shape because you can only do it in the actual river biome blocks. 
so underneath is still a bit of a mess. So under here we have the magma blocks from the farm above. There we have the minecart hopper. I'll do that falling. And if you see here is where the run of hoppers runs all the way through the middle. And we just take this one minecart and it zigs backwards and forwards all the way through the farm. I've timed it from like one block to check it comes back over the same block within five minutes and I think it's only like a minute and a half to go round. Um, one thing I find quite useful is on the end where I have a solid block for it to bounce off and there's another one up the far end is I extend it out past the farm slightly because it has been known for strange reasons for these carts occasionally to stop. Um, I think the main reason is because it's Minecraft. So if it stops, because you haven't got any room under here, it's a bit of a pain. The simplest way is to shoot the minecart to destroy it and then place a new minecart. And I can place it straight here on a powered block next to a solid block and it will just instantly start moving. So that's the only reason I extend it further is just for the ease of fixing it should something go wrong. Here we have another level below. It's a little bit harder to see into. Um, I've got a block underneath here, here. If I go down one block, maybe I'll see. Yeah, so you can just about see in here. So here's another level of the farm. And if we go down here, here's a, another minecart hopper running around. The hopper chain runs off through here and connects up with the other one and then down towards our storage system. So other than the perimeter walls, is that not lit up properly here? Probably okay, but you know, everybody's sure. So that's the underneath. So this is the basic thing is you map out where the river biome blocks are, and then you just build it sort of section by section as per the initial part. Um, one thing I would say is better to do is not have little nooks like this because as you can see these squids if they're in there the guardians may not see them and probably i should have cut this farm off here so that there's a slightly more open view for the guardians to see and again this block here despite it not being a river biome which what is it desert um, then I probably should have put water in those blocks just to give a little bit better visibility because there's no real problem with having extra water because nothing else will spawn. It just looks bigger than it actually is, if that's the case. So a little bit more viewing for the Guardians, possibly. And possibly it's a little bit long. I could have like just glassed across here or just segmented this into two farms and just put half the guardians in one side, half in the other, because sometimes you can end up with the guardians a little bit congregating at one end and then the squid spawn at the other end. And obviously I'm blocking the spawn at the moment, which is why they've stopped. So here is like the initial river. Around here we've still got water because I filled in all the river just to live one high block of water because squid need too high so it stops anything spawning in the river. Mobs over there, I don't want to visit them. So basically it was quite a bit of time, not too long, it's just a bit fiddly of the old F3 screen. And then a lot of looking down at the ground to see where you are and looking biome halfway up on the left or halfway down on the left. Um, it says Biome Minecraft River, that one's Biome Minecraft River, that one's Savannah. What's this block here? This is Savannah, so that one is Savannah, that one is Savannah. And then I, so I, I mark out the blocks that are outside of the river. This one I'm standing on is River, this one's Savannah, so I can place that block in. And that one, I think it said River. Savannah and obviously depending on what you're doing around here uh, make sure you light up these blocks so they're not spawnable so that's sort of how I mark out the river and then just remove these blocks 
um, like this and then check that the biome is actually still river. I mean, you can get the old block sort of in the middle that's not river or something silly, but I would just sort of probably include it in the farm just when you're thinking about how big my farm is then just have to keep in mind of things like that and then we can remove all the other blocks what I actually tend to do is remove all the water before I start um, dig it down put in the magma blocks um, before I put the water back get over the F3 screen so there's a lot of looking around at F3 screens but marking out is very important because some bits here that you might assume were not part of the river are and sometimes bits over here like you think oh i'm in a river because i'm wet and you discover that you may be wet and in a river but it's actually in the desert so like that's river that's river that's desert let's mark that one out and like so oh i'm in desert here as well so that one's not part. So yeah, it's just sort of marking it out. Um, I sort of view this area because this is where we built stuff. So if I was actually in a, a sort of clean area, I might have marked out a larger bit and tried to work out which is a good area. I mean, like this, it's quite a nice area here. Quite a decent size and sort of more squarey. You could possibly square it off a bit more by including a few more things, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, so it's quite a decent size and it obviously varies how many other people are on the server at the time so i think that covers most of the the new things i mean the, the main thing is to make sure you don't have fish spawning particularly and i think turtles are included and possibly dolphins so you want to make sure they can't spawn or aren't behind the hill within the 128 block radius of where you're going to be AFKing and then you just sit back and watch the squid flow um, yeah I think three layers is what you can fit in if that's what you want because the basic rule applies as but old squid farms it's just slightly trickier now because you've got less area to work with that the more spawning spaces you have, the better. Especially if there are other people on the server. Because if I have 10 spawn spots and three other players are near an ocean with 20,000 spawn spots near them, they're gonna get the spawns and I won't. If I manage to build this farm pretty big and end up with a thousand spawn spots or something, then someone else out there near a thousand spawn spots I will still get some spawns going here but like most squid farms they work predominantly best with nobody else on or at least nobody else near water which is quite tricky now <laughs> because there's a lot of water in the world and then yeah we just pull it all the way down here to our storage system and you can sit down here where what chest it got to with this one yeah, and watch the ink sacs flow in at a pretty reasonable rate. Um, if I wanted slightly faster, I could put a few more spawn spots in. But to be honest, it's produced quite a lot. So each one of these is the same as 27 double chests. So that's sort of 100 double chests. I haven't got enough to 200, but there's quite a lot of ink sacs. Right, well I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If you like the video please remember to leave a like and if you've got any questions please drop them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, goodbye.